Welcome back to the channel. Update 4 has been released, and what we've all been waiting for is, is Link 16 and the F-16 and the F-15 in Falcon BMS. This video is to teach you how to set up the DTC to make sure you're on the correct fighter channel, add the correct flight members, along with the donors to get the best out of the Link 16. This is not a tutorial of how Link 16 works, but is a basic understanding so you know how to set it up correctly before you get into pit. Make sure to always refer to the manual for a more complete explanation. This DTC tutorial works with custom missions, also known as tactical engagements, or TEs, and also campaigns. Remember, not all aircraft have Link 16. Always refer to the user manual, the full list of aircraft that have and do not have Link 16. So for this one, I'm going to use campaign for an example. Campaign, I'm going to choose a F-16 squadron, choose the Block 40 at Osan. Make sure you have the correct seat that you're in, because this is all based on what your DTC will load when you press load DTC and do the click dance. I'm going to be in the escort flight. I'm going to choose my seat here, depending on which one you are. I'm going to go to the DTC, which is right here or right here. They're both the same thing. I'm going to click this one. So the click dance is this. It's very important. You need it every single time you go into 3D. If you make a change in the 2D world, make sure you, you, you do a click dance. And also, right before you go into 3D, make sure you do the click dance. So the click dance, just make sure you have the, all of the correct radio frequencies, the IFF channels, and... Uh, and settings, and then your Link 16 being that it's new. Also your HARMS uh, tables. So COM, you don't have to do anything here. Just make sure you press COM plan, it'll load up all your COM plan. Then you go to IFF, press IFF plan, that'll load all of your IFF. You don't have to touch anything here. It should be all set up correctly as long as you're in the correct flight and correct seat. Go to Link 16, so this is new. For this, it's, it's very easy. You just press Link 16 plan, everything will change in there. Being that you, we have different flights, there are different people in other flights, so press Link 16 plan, you can press your TAC in, you can set your TAC in right here, it will set in game once you load in the game. After that you press save, and it will load all of your data cartridge into the jet. If you are the flight lead, it will automatically check that once you click Link 16 plan. ETR, don't worry about it, call sign will automatically get in there, all of this will automatically populate, and if you have a poor ship, it will automatically populate all four ships in your in your flight if the team is a four ship it'll automatically have it all four ships if anyone in the donors is four ships it only does two of them notice here it does one and two because it's a two ship down here it's a two four ships one and three and one and three you can manually set these being that this is three three six five one it will be three three six five two will be two 33654 will be 4. So you can, if you want, manually put them in there. 33652 and 33654. You can press save in there and it'll save it. And it'll be in your in your DTC, in your jet automatically. But if you press IFF plan, it'll go back to what it was before. And note that these only the Link 16 plan only loads what is in your package. If it's outside of your package, you need to do a little bit of digging. So you can add another flight. Just note that your package number, 3280, just make sure you don't go into the same package number. Click on the ATO. You'll have this here by default. This is your package. So make sure you press show entire ATO. Click that. All of them will come up. Here it's in order of missions in the package. So open up offensive counter air. This first one is 3266 so it's not going to be your 3280 so just make sure that it's not yours this is ours right here so don't choose the same one I'm gonna open up this one go in the Oka strike so the F-15s they have link 16 available because it has the STN here one five one zero five and the last number there is actually the position in the flight that that person is So number one would be one here two would be number two and so on if it does not have link 16 like this F-4 down here then it will not have a Link 16 at the bottom. That means it, it does not have Link 16 on that aircraft. So we're going to add this four ship to our donors. Once you, if you do it like this, it adds all of them there. So it's the four ships. It'll add, it'll replace all of these right here. Go to donor. It replaces all of them right there. If you want to add someone else, right click. It'll actually replace this first line here. I mean, that's a two ship. It only did the two there. This last line, you have to do it manually. Also, if you press Link 16 to plan again, it'll go back to the default values. And then make sure you press save when you have the information that you want entered. So if you're wanting to put in this number manually to the data cartridge, make sure you put it in there, put those four numbers in there, and then put the last number based on the position you want to enter into your DTC. So remember, there are only a certain number of 
aircraft that have Link-16. The lower blocks of F-16s don't have Link-16. But in this case, the F-4E does not have Link-16 either. How to know that it doesn't have Link-16 is to look at the manual or go to Link-16, press Link-16 plan, and it has zeros in your flight STNs. That means that there's no Link-16 in this aircraft. I'm going to quickly go over some of the features in the 2D map here. Right-clicking brings up this menu here. You have all of your airfields and installations to be able to uh, make them visible or not. So that's how you make things appear and disappear. Same thing with aircraft and attack bombers. Same thing with that. Ground units, same thing. So explore here. Make sure you reference the manual to know exactly what you're looking at. So the doghouse is something new. Press show doghouse. Now it shows the distance, which is 9.6, and the heading needed to between these two steer points. So between steer point 8 and 7, you need to go to a heading of 5, of correction, you need to go to a heading of 162, and the distance is 52.8 nautical miles. If you want to do some recon and find out where the SAMs are, it's these rectangles with the, the, the curved line in it. That means that it's a SAM or a surface to air threat. So you right click on it, press status, it'll, it'll show you exactly what it is. It tells you it's SA2, has a fan song, and all the other vehicles down there with it. Right click on another one. Press status, another SA-2. So being that's an SA-2, you can right-click, press pre-plan threat steer point. Right-click it again to make two of them. Left-click, SA-2. Left-click, SA-2. But if you want to change it to something else, you can. So let's say it's an SA-8. Choose that, SA-8. Move it over where the threat is. And now you have it in your on the 2D. And you can do that again until you run out of threat circles. And this will go grayed out, meaning you can't use it anymore. If you want to see something visually in the 2D map, all of these symbols represent a air threat, a tank battalion, airfield, and so on. These symbols are based on what you have enabled in your right-click mode. Brigades, that'll disappear. So make sure you have all that enabled so you can see them. Some vehicles and air threats and battalions aren't visible because there are either not enough intel or there's no friendly aircraft or forces around there to make it visible in the 2D map. With that being said, those are just invisible to you in this sense. It does not particularly mean they're gone, it just means you cannot see them in the 2D map. But for what you can see, you can right click on it, press recon, usually the first one takes a while. Once it comes up, you can see and drop down the menu of all the, the launchers. You have radar here, you have different vehicles down there. Press on a vehicle, you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, and you can rotate around it and actually see what's down there. Remember, some of these can move, so the location in this reconnaissance does not mean that's exactly where they are in when you get into 3D. When it comes to creating a target point, this is designate as target steer point. So usually you go back to steer point 99, and you can go all the way to 81 when it comes to targets. So usually I start at 99, starting from the top or wherever you want to start at. So start at SA3, press accept. Go down one, go down one, press accept, go down this to the low blow, low blow, press accept. Now I have three targets at steer point 97 through 99. Now to check that, go to your data cartridge, go to targets, click back to reset to 99. You can verify what it is. There's the SA3, there's the SA3, and there's the low blow. After you do that, make sure you do your click dance, com, com plan, IFF, IFF plan, link 16, link 16 plan, and then press save. Now, those targets will be steer point 99 through 97 on your DED in 3D. So if you want to have a visual representation of a border, you can actually set up threat steer point lines. Right click, press set steer point lines. Here are four groups of steer point lines. You have a certain amount in each group, but you just create wherever you want them. And once you run out of steer lines, it'll actually gray out, meaning that you can't use it anymore like this. But after you have it on there, you could move it anywhere you want. After you move that and you create steer or uh, threat circles make sure you do your click dance again com com plan iff i have plan link 16 link 16 plan and then press save always make sure before you get into 3d before you press take off and wait for the the countdown make sure you do a click dance just before you do that that's pretty much it in a nutshell very quick tutorial of the 2d map make sure to, to subscribe to have a more deeper coverage of how Link 16 works and what everything means in Falcon BMS. Until next time, I'll see you.